welcome to the channel in this video we will see how we can set up visual studio code for writing and executing python programs in order to continue with this video you need to download and install latest version of python and also the visual studio code in your computer if you have any difficulties installing visual studio code or python then i have made the tutorials i will provide the link in the description box you guys can check that out so once python and vs code are installed in our computer we can go ahead and we can set up the visual studio code so that we can write and execute python programs so the first thing that we do is we will open up visual studio code i will click on the start button search for visual studio code and i will open it up now once visual studio code is open the first thing that we do is we will uh, create a workspace so we will go to file and here we can see save workspace as we will click on that and here this time i will save my uh, workspace in the desktop you can save it wherever you want in my desktop i'm going to right click here i'm going to create a new folder i will call it as tutorials again you guys can give any name and after that we will open up this folder and inside this folder we will save the workspace i will say python workspace you know that will be the name of the workspace and after that we will click on save so once we do that the next thing that we do is we will click on file and we will click on add folder to workspace so we will click on that we will go to the desktop or the location where we have created our workspace um, and then we will open up the folder where we have saved our workspace and inside that folder we will create another folder and i will call it as python programs and then we will select this folder and we will click on add so now in this explorer you know if it is uh, hidden then you can click on this uh, icon and it will open up the explorer we can see the workspace that we have created and also the folder that we have added now the next thing that we do is we will create a file which will contain the python code so here i'm going to select this folder python programs and then i'm going to click on this icon which says new file and here we can give the name for the file i will call it as test and the important thing is we should have the extension as .py .py file extension is used for the files which contain the python code you can give any name instead of test here you guys can give any name and after that we will hit the enter button and you can see here the file has been created now i'm going to close this welcome uh, tab now the next thing that we do is we will download and install some extensions so we will click on this icon which says extensions and extensions uh, tab will be opened here here we will search for python and when we do that we will get an extension called as python developed by microsoft we will click on that this extension will add some uh, functionality like intellisense etc to visual studio code we will install it by clicking on this we will wait for the installation to complete okay now the extension has been installed successfully now the next thing that we do is we will search and install a visual studio code extension called as pylint if i search for this pylint and if i click on this pylint developed by microsoft then we can see some information about this particular extension uh, what we do is we will install this okay that has been installed successfully now uh, the next thing that we do is we will write a simple python program and we will try to execute that so here i'm going to minimize this extensions so the first thing that i do here is I'm going to write the doc string which is just a string value explaining you know what this program is all about so i'm going to say a python program to say hi and after that what we do is we will use the input function and we will ask the user to enter his name and after that we will store the return value in a variable and let's call it as name and in the end we will use the print function and we will display hello and and then we will display the name that the user has entered 
So a very simple program. Now, how we can run this program? Now, in order to run this, what we can do is we can right click here and then we can find run Python. And here we just have to click on run Python file in terminal. So when we do that, the terminal will be opened and our program will run. So it says enter your name. I'm going to enter my name. And after that, if I hit the enter button, it, it says hello Anil. So that is one way of running the Python program. The next thing is in the top right corner, we can see this particular icon. Uh, if I take the cursor on that, it says run Python file. If we click on that, the same thing happens. The Python program will be run in the terminal. So again, I'm going to enter my name and it says hello and my name. These are the two different ways in which we can run a Python uh, file or a Python program in Visual Studio Code. Now, the last thing that we do here is we will uh, click on file and we will make sure that this auto save is checked so that whenever we make any modification to the uh, file, you know, it will be saved automatically. So make sure that it is checked. If it is not, then you can click on that and it will be checked. Apart from these extensions, you can also install some other extensions depending on your need. For example, if you want a formatter, then you can install one and set up the Visual Studio code depending on your need. So these are the basic settings that we need in order to run Python programs in VS Code. This is it guys for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you have anything to say, then write it in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel.